Today's set of notes is going to be on ions and isotopes. I want to start off with a little bit of review from last week. We have our atomic symbol here. We are going to be using it uh, to help us with our ionic notation and our uh, isotope notation. Uh, and if we remember, we put our element symbol in the middle. And then on the bottom left, we have our atomic number. So if you remember, our atomic number is just how many protons we have. And it's always going to be linked with a certain element. So for example, carbon has an atomic number of six, meaning it has six protons. And oxygen has an atomic number of eight, meaning it has eight protons. On the top left, we got the mass number, which is just our protons and our neutrons added together. And in the top right, we have our charge, which is our protons minus our electrons. So I'm gonna start here by going over ions. And we're gonna be going in a little bit more detail than last week. Um, an ion is uh, just a particle with a charge. Specifically in this unit, we're gonna be talking about atoms uh, with a charge, but there could also be some molecules with a charge and we'll be talking about that later in the year. So an ion is any particle with a charge. Uh, and I wanna go into a little bit more detail. There are two different types of ions we can have. We could have cations or anions. Cations are just positively charged, and we got a couple examples. We got sodium, which has a plus charge, and calcium, which is uh, two plus. And then an anion is an ion with a negative charge, uh, and examples are fluorine minus and oxygen two minus. So the easy way that I use to remember these is if we take a look here, cation has that T in it. And I always think that T looks like a plus sign. So that's how I remember that cations are positive ions. Another way you can remember is if you like cats, you could have positive thoughts associated with cats and that could help you remember positive ion. And then if we take a look an ion, I like to look at this A and the N and I like to think a negative ion. So that's how I remember that anion is a negative ion. So we're gonna do some examples of using our protons and neutrons and electrons to help us write atomic symbols. And then from atomic symbols, it's just an easy jump into ion notation. So let's uh, do a couple examples. I'll just leave one here and we'll do the rest later. If we have nine protons, that means our atomic number is nine. Oh, let me get nine. And if we take a look at our periodic table, which I'll bust out right now. You could take a look and the atomic number of nine shows us that our element is fluorine. So we could just write a capital F here. Our mass number is going to be equal to our protons plus our neutrons. So nine plus 10 would be 19. And then our charge is going to be protons minus electrons, nine minus 10 is negative one. If it's a one, you don't got to put the number if we just put the, the sign of the charge. So it's negative. So we just put a negative there. So that would be our atomic symbol. We learned this last week. If we want to change it just to ion notation, all we have to do is look at this right here. This is all we care about. So all I got to do is write it like that. And then if I ask you a question, uh, if this, is this ion a cation or an anion, I would look at the charge. It is a negative charge and I could write anion right there. So let's look at another example. I got the protons, neutrons, electrons, 20 protons. I'm going to put my atomic number down here. So I'm going to look at the periodic table for 20 and I see my atomic number 20 means that that element 
is calcium. And then my mass number is just going to be protons plus neutrons, so in this case, 40. And my charge is going to be protons minus electrons. 20 minus 18 is going to be 2. Positive. And again, if I just want to write it now in ion notation, my element and my charge right there. So again, we're just taking the things that we care about. When we're talking about ions, we just care about the charge. And then if I ask you an additional question, is this an anion or cation? We have to look at that charge. Positive, positive cation, meow. And we could write that there. I will do one more example like this. And in this uh, ex uh, example problem, we got seven protons. So protons and atomic number are the same. We are going to use that to figure out what element we got. Again, take out your periodic table. And just a reminder, you can pick these up at the front office of the school. So if you uh, can walk over there sometime, I would definitely pick one up. Atomic number seven would be nitrogen. Uh, so then we go to our mass number. Mass number is protons plus neutrons. 7 plus 7. 14. And then we have our charge. Protons minus electrons. 7 minus 10. Would give us a 3 minus charge. So you guys should be able to do this by now. Move into ion notation. Take the element symbol. Take the charge, that's all we need. And then if I ask you cation or anion, we look at the charge, it's a negative charge, a negative ion, it's an anion. All right, so I'm hoping you guys are starting to understand how we write our ions out. We're gonna be moving to isotopes now. And we're gonna start with the definition. So we didn't even start going over isotopes last week. So we're going to start with the definition here. And what an isotope is, is they are atoms of the same element with different mass numbers. So atoms of the same element that have different masses. Another way we could think about this is we could think of it as atoms with the same number of protons, because if they have the same protons, they are the same element. So we could write that right above it even, same element. So atoms with the same number of protons, but different number of neutrons. Because a different number of neutrons would give it a different mass number. So an example of some of these would be, and these are written out in our uh, atomic uh, symbol, we have carbon with a mass number of 12, we have carbon with a mass number of 13, and we have carbon with a mass number of 14. So all of these, they're all the same elements but they all have different masses. So we would call those isotopes of each other. They're all different isotopes of carbon. Uh, so just like ion notation, we got a special notation for isotopes. And again, it's not a, it's not a hard transition just to move over from atomic symbol to isotope notation. All we have to do is write the element and then the mass number. Um, it's slightly different. So we're going to do some examples here. Uh, an example for lithium would be lithium, and if it had a mass number six, we could say lithium six. And another isotope of lithium would be lithium seven. Uh, if I wanted to even shorten this, I could even just write the, the symbol for it. So I could say lithium six 
or lithium seven. So if you see it like this or like this, those are going to be uh, isotope notation. And if you wanna write it down like this to help you out in your notes, it's the element with the a hyphen and then your mass number. So we're gonna take our carbon example and we are going to write these down in isotope notation now. So this carbon would just be, you know, write the element, carbon, and now we write our mass number. So the mass number is 12. So that would be carbon 12, and that's how we would say it. Uh, for this one, the mass number is 13. So it would be carbon 13. And I'm guessing you guys can do this one already. Carbon with a mass of 14, we would just say carbon 14. And these are how we are going to be writing in isotope notation.